Saxon course 2, lesson 84 is on algebraic terms. So the algebraic terms, those are going to be the letters we use to represent a number that we are not sure about. Okay, polynomials are algebraic expressions that contain one, two, three, or more terms. Okay, so a monomial will only have one term, so that's negative 2x. A binomial will, binomial will have two terms, so I have one, two sections a squared minus 4b squared. And then a trinomial has three. The 3x squared is one, the minus x is one, and the minus four is one. So here it wants us to use the commutative and associative properties to collect terms in this expression. So we have four terms. There are two x terms and there are two y terms. So I'm going to first use the commutative property to rearrange the terms. So I have 3x plus x plus y minus y. Okay, so then I'm going to use the associative property to group the terms. Okay, so that's going to be 3x plus x plus y minus y. So if I add 3x plus another x, I'm going to end up with 4x plus y minus y is going to equal zero. So my answer is going to be 4x. Okay, here's another one. And this time there are three kinds of terms. We have x squared terms, we have x terms, and our constant number terms. Okay. So first I'm going to use the commutative property to rearrange these in order. So I have 2x squared plus x squared, I'm going to cross them off to, so I know I use them, plus 3x minus x plus 4 minus 1. So now all my terms are grouped. Now I'm going to collect those like terms using the associative property by putting parentheses around them. Okay, so now I'm going to solve these. So if I have 2x squared and I add another x squared, that's going to be 3x squared. Okay, plus the 3x minus x, so I'm taking an x away, that's going to equal 2x. And then the 4 minus 1 is equal to 3, so it's going to be plus 3. Okay. So if you notice, the x squared and the x terms are not the same. You cannot combine them because they are not the same. Okay. Alright, and that's it for this lesson.